Welcome to Asim Carefully subscribe to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to establish an SSH connection with Pi SFTP module. Pi SFTP is a wrapper around Prometo that provides abstraction to the developer by encapsulating many of the higher function use cases of interacting with SSH to listen to for files. So first we need to install it on our system. For this, we can use a Python 3 deck and pit install pi sftp and hit enter. It is successfully installed. Now we can import in our code. We can use import pi sftp. And now we are going to define our function to list the content of our directory and make a connection to the server. This will be define SFTP list files. This will take username, password, host name of the server, and the port. Username, password, hostname, and port are the information of the server to which we want to connect. So we need a username, password, and the server hostname where it's running and its port number. And now we are going to use the web. Hi, SFTP. Dot connection and we need to set the host name to our host. So this will be on here. We are going to use host set to our host name. Host is set to our host name. Username set to our username and password set to our password. We can print the message if we are able to connect. We can print connected to server. Connected to server. And then we are going to change the current working directory to the root directory by using SFTP dot cw change working directory change and this will be our root directory 
And now we will get a list of directories. List of directories by calling SFTP dot list dir attribute, which will then us a list of directories. And we can use follow to read through these directories and list of directories and print each directory file name and the directory this would be for for directory in our list of directories we are going to print the directory file name and the directory name so we are going to print each file name from this directory and also the directory name now we can test our function by setting the host name, core, username, password, and calling this function in our name. Name is equal to main. Then we are going to set our host name in the local host and we are going to set core I'm using 22 and then we are going to set the username for the server. Username. Your username. The user account you have on your server. And the password. Your password. And now we can call our function and pass the username, password, host, and password. And now this would be SFTP, SFTP, list, files. And here we are going to pass in username, password. Host name and a power. And just save our script. So, in this script, we are connecting to our server with SSH and listing the content of directory using the list directory attribute method. After establishing a connection with the server, we are using the CWD change working directory method to change to the root directory, finding the path of the directory as the first argument. Using the wait instruction, the connection closes automatically at the end of the block, and we don't need to close the connection with the server manually. You can test this script with your server name username, password, and port. To keep on learning, please subscribe to my channel, Awesome Code, keep supporting me, and thank you for watching.